with with uh, both for repealing the eighth on May twenty fifth. We popped down to the game jam for repeal in Dublin to see how they got on. The game jam for repeal opened last Sunday in Dublin to allow those affected by the Eighth Amendment share their thoughts and stories ahead of the referendum on May 25th. Repeal Jam C Gaming adds a great way to spread the, this message across the globe. One always runs the risk with this kind of thing that you only speak to people who already agree with you. Uh, so that's why I was hesitant to make something that had a hardline stance on the issue because people can sense that coming from a mile away and they don't want to. I mean, when I think about something I don't agree with, there's no way I'm going to spend my time on a game that is trying to prove a point to me that I already know that I don't agree with. So I'm hoping that by making it very subtle um, and very relatable and emotional, you have a chance to make something that's valuable whether, you, whether or not you change the person's mind and that it doesn't have a goal, um, but rather just the, the only goal of it is to make a connection with this theoretical person. Some people were creating political games. Jen, the event organizer, had a team working on a game where you play as airport security, inspecting people leaving the country for abortion. I think when making these games, the important thing to keep in mind is the facts of the situation. And what we're trying to show is the realities for people who are pregnant in Ireland. Uh, how those are presented are different depending on the kind of game. And they're different depending on everyone's stance. So you will end up with different games that some might consider a bit um, on the nose. Some of them might be satirical. It really depends on the, the person who's making the game, the people who are behind it, and who they're aiming for. People taking part were creating video games such as text-based games made in twine. No previous experience was needed, and introductory lectures were given for participants. This tool, Twine, is really, really accessible, and I think that anyone with an interest in um, writing or having conversations or, um, uh, I don't know, Making art, having any kind of point of view, can get into this pretty easily, whether or not they have experience with games or with, with the, the tools themselves. So I hope the more different kinds of variety of stuff that is made, the more people will think like, yeah, sure, I'll give it a shot. Wonderful to see so many events happening all across the country. We've got groups in every county coming together under the Together Yes banner. And we've got from coffee mornings to discussions to um, so many fundraising activities. So there's many different ways that um, games play a part in this. There's many ways to allow people who wouldn't normally sit and have the discussion because the Eighth Amendment and abortion and birth rights have been so taboo in Ireland for so long. It's a way for people to get a, have a conversation they mightn't have had before as they, they explore the issue. Neve, no worry. TCU TV News.